Hey everyone, Eric here and welcome back to another European War 4 video. So this is the fourth coalition campaign right here, Return to Rhine, which apparently happened in 1799. So Imperial Fleet has won decisive victory in the now. Now the Mediterranean is under our control while Napoleon's army is trapped in Egypt. It's best time to attack France now. Commander, we need you to retrieve the territory lost in Italy and defeat French troops in Rhine with coalition forces. So, victory in 30 days and great victory in 30 days, um, 30 rounds I mean, that will be World Conqueror 2 if it's days and great victory in 12 rounds. So, according to the plan, I will protect your flanks, you can feel free to attack. Once the enemy crosses the river in the front, they will threaten the city of many of our cities. We need to capture the city ahead to prepare for the next attack. So if you guys don't mind, I'm actually going to increase the brightness a little bit. So right here, we've got to take Brussels, Welburg, and Munich. And there's this stone fortress right here, which is the bonus mission right over here. And what we have to do is... Okay, let's just bombard them a little bit. And I know that there are the Poles behind as well, but the Prussians and Austrians can take care of them. Oh! I didn't know that we have to, like, defend Berlin, but guess what, there's a Ferdinand over there. Oops, sorry for that. There's a Ferdinand over there, so it's not much of an issue. Let's send Johan the first over here to attack. Their tier 2 heavy cavalry right over here. We've got to protect Brunswick as well. And, yeah, so the Dutch will actually come in and try to take Oldenburg, so we've got to defend right over here. And... Uh, let's just casually just bombard Munich right over here. 18 damage, okay. And round 2 right here. So, let's send uh, Franklin down over here to help out. And, yeah, so it's pretty funny, you know, how, like, Franklin is a Holy Roman Empire general. And after the... After the HRE got dissolved, he sort of became like the confederation general. And then for other generals like, uh, let's say, Johann the First, they become like Austrian. So, you know, it's pretty interesting, you know, how like, once the HRE collapsed, then all of his generals just scatter on, into like, the confederation of, of the Rhine, Austria, you know, what, whatever, whatever, and stuff like that. You know, it's pretty interesting. So we are at round 3 right now. You can unlock special chapters after achieving special targets, I think. I've, I've forgotten what it said right there, but... Yeah, so the Dutch are not doing anything just yet. Let's buy a tier 2 light artillery over here. And... What we definitely have to do is to just move back a little bit. We've got to take Munich. And that is looking a little bit hard to do at the moment, sort of, because our light cavalry is really not that uh, not that great on health. So we've taken Welberg. Let's move over here and attack this general. What was what is this general? Vendami, okay, Vendami, I mean, and he's not very good. One eighty six health. Johan the first has two hundred twenty four health. So let's actually take. Uh, Vendami. Is that Vendami? Yep. Let's take Vendami out. And let's end the turn again. So we are at round 4. That's one quarter of the way through if we want to get the 5 stars. W right over there. And okay. So let's move this light artillery out. And we are going to start to attack the French forces east of the, of the Rhine. And yeah. So let's just move over here and attack so just gonna attack munich right over here 21 damage okay nine okay not bad actually not that great either okay so the line infantry is gone so will vendami oh maybe not okay let's upgrade frankfurt right over here uh, actually i should have upgraded Oldenburg, but you know, whatever. So the Austrians are not helping out. 
definitely not helping out. And they've got like one light artillery, a tier 2 light artillery to be precise right over here. And we've got to take this city right over here. 34 damage, okay. Let's take it up. Boom, 22 damage. Alright, that will do it. And then we've got Joanne the first over here at a stable. So we need 100 gold to buy a cavalry. So we're gonna let Joanne the, uh, Joanne the first stay there for a moment. And we're just gonna bombard that, that tier 3 grenadier over there. And the Austrians are finally helping us out. That is great news for us. And let's just move in and attack. So, okay, we've got this guy over here. Let's move Franquimont up. Okay, the Dutch are not making any advances yet at the moment. So, we just got to take Prussia, Prussia, Brussels, and Munich right over there. So, let's end the turn once again. Round 7. Take Munich. Um, upgrade that. What can we buy over here? Artillery defense plus 2. Nah, no thanks. I've, I'm saving up my medals for like something else. And we've got Morial charging us right here. So, yeah. And he's like one of the best artillery generals in the game. He's a, He has all 4 artillery attributes right here. And he's just a beast in artillery. Not so much in other stuff. And... Let's move this guy up. Let's move, uh, put in the cavalry. And Joanne the first is almost dead. I don't like that. Let's attack Morial. Alright, that is gonna be it for Morial. So, that's the first time I see an, uh, heavy, a heavy artillery doing, like, uh, on so little health, doing that much damage, to be honest. So, okay, the Dutch are making moves right now. Attack. They may cross... And take Brunswick, so let's put it there. Let's move here. Oh, wow, the Dutch are definitely trying to take us out right here. Trying to catch us by surprise. And let's just take Milan, because why not? Hopefully we can. Let's buy line infantry, because that is more tanky. And let's see if we can take out this light artillery. Okay, maybe not. So, alright, so Johan the first is almost dead. Uh, okay, they put stuff at Milan, okay. So we're just gonna leave this stone fort behind because it's not a primary target. And, yeah, let's take out this guy over here. And let's move Johan the first over there, upgrade that. Attack. Wow. Wow. All right. So as you guys can see, Frankumon sucks. He absolutely sucks right there. And you know, I'm just taking my time, just being like, uh, you know, I'm just casually like just moving my troops here and there. So if you guys actually want to get a five stars, and so uh, if you guys want to get a five stars, you might want to do a lot quicker than me. And of course. Not with so much losses anyways. And... Okay, let's buy a tier 2, like, uh, artillery over there. And let's just end our turn again. I don't want to attack right now. So let's move this guy over here. Now we can start to attack. So let's move over here. Attack. 17. Alright. So, let's see. 28. Alright, pretty good as well. We are at round 11. So we've got Joanne the first right over here. 15 damage. Got a feeling. Okay, maybe he's not gonna die. Let's buy a tier 1 light artillery. So we are, we are at round 12 right now. Which means we are indeed able to finish at a 5 star victory. So yeah, that is pretty nice. <coughs> and so that is it for this video. Thanks all of you guys for watching this video. So next up, we will be doing Battle of Trebia. 
And of course, you have to unlock the uh, you have to unlock this mission by killing the stone fort, and taking out, uh, not killing the stone fort and completing the mission. So you might want to get the five stars first before doing that. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks all of you guys for watching this video. If you have liked this video, please do remember to leave a like. And if you are new to this channel, please do remember to like. Uh, please do remember to subscribe as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And of course, goodbye.